What's up, my magic miscreants? Risen Dragon here with a fun deck for you today, and today we are looking at a bounce deck. Now, you've probably seen this before, like bounce or blink, but basically what these decks do is the function of these decks is to uh, either exile a card from the battlefield and then have it return at the end of a certain amount of time, or... Uh, we they bounce it back to our hand, and if it's cheap enough, just recast it at some point. And we want to take advantage of those entering the battlefield effects. So how do we accomplish this? Well, we accomplish this in a couple ways. One, we have Nurturing Pixie. When it enters the battlefield, return up to one target non-fairy, non-land permanent you control to its owner's hand. If a permanent was returned this way, put a plus one, plus one counter on Nurturing Pixie. That's one way to do it. We have Getaway Glamour. Okay, it has Spree, plus one to add on to the um, uh, a white ca initial casting cost. Exile target non-token creature, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step, or for another two, destroy target creature if no other creature has greater power. That's one way we do it. Also, two, uh, uh, Fortune, Loyal Steed, when it enters the battlefield, scry two, whenever... It attacks while saddled at end of combat. Exile it and up to one target, one creature that saddled it this turn, then return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control. We can also use the channel effect of disc of a uh, touch the spirit realm, which means we discard it. Exile target artifact or creature, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. That's one way we do it. Also, too, if we cast this, it has a little bit of a prison effect because uh, it exiles one target artifact or creature until it leaves the battlefield. Guardian of Girapur. Okay, when it enters the battlefield, exile up to one other target creature or artifact you control, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. So there are many different ways that we can uh, uh, use cards that enter the battlefield under <laughs> uh, the, these effects, uh, including uh, Kumano Faces Kakazan. This is not a rotation-proof deck. We're not at that phase in standard yet, I don't think. Uh, but enters the battlefield, deals one damage. We know what this does. When, when you know, second chapter, whenever you cast a creature spell this turn, they gets a plus one, plus one counter. Then in third chapter, it becomes etching of Kumano, and if a source dealt damage, this turn by a source you control would die exile instead. Voldaren Epicure just pings people and gives us a discard outlet and draw outlet. Invasion of Gobakan, we look at the uh, ent uh, target opponent's hand, then we may exile a non-land card from it. As long as that card remains exiled, its owner may play it. Casts two more to cast, and then uh, if it, when it gets defeated, uh, we uh, it becomes Light Shield Array, and uh, at the beginning of your next end step, uh, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature that attacked this turn, sack it, and creatures who control gain hexproof and indestructible. Re resolute reinforcements with flash enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one soldier creature token. And then, of course, our finishers, Terror of the Peaks, when it uh, spells your opponent's cast that target it, costs an additional three life to cast, and whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, uh, Terror of the Peaks deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target and we have of course still set off now this is one that we can cast it for its prototype with one and two white uh, but we can cast it for six and it's a five four and at the beginning of combat on your turn target creature you control gains your choice of flying vigilance or lifelink to end a turn now the thing about this is if it gets bounced and throws back onto the battlefield it becomes a five four it gets cast for its actual cost so any of the bounce effects will work here sideboard we're looking at uh, requisition raid destroys target artifact enchantment or putting plus one plus one counters on creatures we control uh, lightning strike lightning helix we do have sunfall uh, surge of salvation as well you and permanence you control gain hexproof till end of turn prevent all damage at black end or red sources would deal to creatures to you this turn and caught in the crossfire deals one uh, two damage to each non uh, to each outlaw creature or Two damage to non-outlaw creatures. So this is our Blinky Boros build. Hope you like it. If you like what you see, please like, please subscribe. I'm going with some new uh, thumbnail designs. Got some feedback on, on Discord. Trying to make it look a little more professional. Um, keyword, a little more. Um, we are not a professional channel by any stretch of the imagination. I do this for fun. Uh, 
you can go through my other videos from my life story. I'll, or I may tell it at some point. But if you like what you see, please like, please subscribe. And if you're new to my channel, we do a best of one and a best of three, so you can see how the deck functions in either one of those environments. So without further ado, let's get to the Blinky Boros games, kids. We're against Kim for our best of one matchup. Um, and not not the worst, not the worst. To that, do Field of Ruin in there. Next, and then we'll do this, and we'll flash this in, because seeing what they do, um, could it be Mono White? It could be Mono White. Phyrexian Missionary, huh? We'll do that. Boom. Hmm. I think we go still Seraph, and the reason we do that is we have a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, we'll give it flying, and we'll throw that in. We'll see what happens here. Touching the spirit realm is a... Oh, oh, what is this? Ah, ah, okay. So that's... You know, we'll just block that. That's annoying. Well, that's okay, because what we'll do is this. We'll touch the spirit realm. I don't like creatures getting big. I think we're just going to give this... Do we give it Vigilance? Yeah, we give it Vigilance. Let's just do this. Now, we do this. Bounce this. There we go. Yeah, you're going to kill that. That's okay, I guess. Oh, Shieldred. You're another target for my touching the spirit realm. I think that's a great strategy there. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. I want to do this instead. We're going to do this. Do that. Boom. Give this lifelink. So we can get that up, and then we do this, return this, make that a 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> he said 2-2. Two -two. Um, let's see. And maybe invasion... Oh, Elish Norn. Oh, what is this happy crap? There we go. Okay, cool. Alright, so we get that. Do this. See what they have. Ah, doesn't trigger. So... That's okay. So what we'll do is we'll just defeat this. Make those bigger. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I think I just take it. Hmm. Yeah, so that don't work. That's okay. This... Now, this is obviously not going to trigger, but at least it gives us a chump blocker. And here, we do lifelink. I do want to get in for some damage, at least. Because now they're going to have to deal with these in the air. I think five... Yeah, so we're going to need to chump block this. Maybe even sacrifice the light shield array. Yep. Okay. So we can't do that. Okay. So, we're new to this. We're going to activate that ability. Hmm. 
Y'all gain life. We swing and win. My thought is if they had a, uh, if they had a burn spell, or a removal spell, they would have played it. Let's go to the best of three. We are against YLM Jean for our best of three matchup, and we are on the draw again. I say again because just tried to do a test, not a test run, but a play the game just now uh, against a Mardu Angels build that, oof, man, that's, this deck does not do well against that deck. Any sort of deck that goes big and wide, uh, this deck is really going to struggle. Um, yeah, see, the problem is I don't have a ton of interactions here with anything, so I'm going to mull that. This one we do keep because that right there. Yeah, we do that. Okay. Mm, okay, oh, hey, check that out. So, Kumano, yeah, we'll, we'll get pinged. Ping that, boom. And this is cool, too, because the Pixie will come in as a 3-3, because we get the, the token from this. Ambush Paratrooper, eh? Okay, we do this. Pixie comes down. 2-2. Two, two. We turn this. Now it becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Recast this. Ping them again. Boom. Now we're getting pinged as well, but... Yeah, they're going to kill that. Of course they do. That's okay, though. Mm hmm This we just do that. Yeah, see, there we go. Now it's a 4-4. Four, four. And, uh, yeah, we give it lifelink, whatever. Does not have hasty, boy. So, and we have a flyer, so they're gonna have to infernal grasp that. Archangel Elspeth, huh? How cool are you? We have lifelink. How fun are you? Target artifact or creature, huh? Okay, and we deal that damage. We do this. And we give that lifelink. Let's just swing. Let's see what they do. Okay, we'll kill it. Now, let's channel that. Bounce that. Boom. That comes back as a 5-4. Yeah. Cool stuff. Now watch. Sunfall. Uh, nope. They draw a card. Okay, cool. Infernal Grasp. Siege Veteran, huh? Fun. I had a feeling that was coming in. Wow, you're really going all out now, ain't you? <sighs> well, I think we have to demolition that. Let's surveil at least. Oh, hey, we get another one, so that's clever. Uh, let's do vigilance. Let's attack and attack. Yep. Okay. So they'll gain life. Those will exile. Can't say I blame them on wanting to protect the Elspeth, but. Might have been a little bit on the extreme side. Who knows? Dusk Legion Duelist. There we go. Okay, cool. Scene of the crime. They draw a card. 
Okay, we get the... We get the set off. Give that flying. Swing in there. And uh, boom. Okay, cool. Another scene of the crime. Interesting. So they've had three of those in their opening hand. You're gonna kill that. Go for the throat. Yeah, they had to do the go for the throat. They couldn't do it that way. Okay. Ooh, Garapur is fun. And uh, we're gonna do vigilance for that. Swing. And a turn, that comes back as a 5-4. Yep, we're fun. How cool is that? It's got some fun tricks to it. Warden of the Inner Sky, huh? Yeah. Are you looking at annihilating glare or something that involves sacrifice to exile my steel set off requisition raid? Oh, you're clever. You're clever. Oof. Oh yeah, that's pretty pretty clever. I like that. I can get on board with that. Now that gets bigger and now we're gonna need to Yep. Yep. That's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a big problem. So we're not running spot. Uh, we're not. We're, yeah, we're not really even running. Sp Ooh. <laughs> well, okay. That just got a little bit more fun. So what are you running in here? Lots of card draw, some spot removal. Yeah. Roman throne, huh? Human? Oh, soldier. Okay. Oh, it's soldier's build. Got it. Yep, so you have that. Let's make this bigger. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We're taking a ton of damage here. Hero of the Dunes, huh? Cool. This triggers an additional time. So let's see. Five, 9, 12... No, they're just going that road, huh? Cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, Guardian of Get Up War is interesting. I think what we do is this. We do that. Deal with that. Bounce that. Kill that. No attacks. That comes down and... Uh, boom. Take that out. Oh, wait. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So. That's clever. Gix's command. Yeah, you're no fun. 
So it's almost like it's a soldier control build. It's kind of clever. I like it. And by I like it, I mean I don't. Because it's killing me right now. Luckily for us, we do have the getaway glamour, which... Um... Can take care of the, the warden. But... Yeah, no, that didn't pan out the way I wanted it to, but... So we're gonna have to go with... I think what we do is this. I think we take out a guardian, we put in Sunfall, do that too. And the reason we go that road is, again, the getaway glimmer is actually, you know, it does act as some spot removal. So, hey, okay, nurturing pixie. Nothing I can really interact with, though. So, let's say, okay, that one is a little bit better. Bivouac, let's get rid of that. Let's do the parlor into the kumano. In, or no, let's do parlor into the Golbacon. I want to see what they have in their hand. Okay, that is important. Right there. There we go. Mm, oh, what in the world is this? Start target enchantment. Toughness. Okay, yeah, we just do the siege veteran because I don't want creatures getting bigger. Oh, nurturing. Watch this. Okay, ready? We do this. And yeah, cool. And they can do the destroy evil. I don't have a problem with that. Eh, okay. So I don't think we go for the Gobacon at this point, simply because if they do try to kill it, or if they if we do take it out, they're gonna want to um they're gonna wanna kill it. So Dusk Legion Duelist. Okay, cool. Hmm. I like this play. I'm stupid. <laughs> it was so dumb. Actually, that's not the worst because we get this. Targets there destroy evil. Ooh, sun. F ah, no, we do want that. Yeah, destroy evil is going to. They're going to have a choice to make here. They're going to have a choice to make here. Do they take out my fortune? Yes, they do. That is totally fine. We wanted that. Yeah, we'll take two. I'm okay with that. Uh, here's what we do. We do abraded bluffs. Goes down, and then boom. Do that. Just ping them. Boom. Okay. Outlaw medic. Interesting. Okay.
Now here, I don't see a problem with just swinging in and... ...building up the... ...the pixie. There's a few of Destroy Evil Requisition Raid. Yeah, well guess what, we do that, activate the ability, gain hexproof and indestructible. So, yep, cool. We'll just swing in because we're getting exiled no matter what. There we go. Okay. Now the sunfall, huh? Let's see what they do. Do not block. Let's do that. Nurturing Pixie is an interesting. Siege Veteran, huh? Okay. I think we just do Sunfall again. Recruitment officer. Yeah, you don't have the uh, call a surprise witness uh, to target anything here, though. It's an interesting build that uh, Jean has here. I, I do enjoy it. It's kind of cool. All right, so what we're gonna do is this. Let's just activate this. See if they have a. They, oh no, requisition rate is not a. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to do it that way. I'm just gonna do this. And no, we won't do that. They'll bring that back with flying. And a... Hero of the Dunes, huh? Okay. Oh, Warden of the Inner Sky. How fun are you? You can't tap those. I mean, eventually, I'm just gonna... You're dead. <laughs> nice top deck. Ugh, perfect top deck. Classy win. Okay, there we go. Two and two with this build today, so this is a keep. Uh, 100% a keep. Oh, Sunfalls came in handy, did they not? <laughs> uh, so let's see how this plans out with the rubber match. Do the rubber match. If you get the reference of the melody, do the rubber man, <laughs> do the rubber man, okay, you'll know. Oh, okay, this is an interesting one. We put down the parlor. Yeah, the parlor is the play here because surveil, epicure is cool. Although I do want to see what you have in your hand. Lots of stuff. Back for seconds, Valiant Veteran. Soldier. Yeah, let's do the Duelist. Let's do the Epicure, because this way what we do is we can... Blood Token. Discard that. And we just flood out. Two minutes into the game and we flood out. Okay, so they draw a card. They're down to 
they, 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 if they find their land, they're... They don't find the land, they're in trouble. And let's go with the... Let's go with the parlor again. Yeah, I don't need more land, as much as I know... Let's do Garapur. Bounce this. Yeah, they didn't find another land. What? Whoa, whoa, rough, rough. I don't like winning like this. I I do have to say I'm not a huge fan of winning games like this. I really don't. I I don't appreciate it a lot. So. Siege veteran, valiant veteran. Yeah, you can go right there. Cause that would ideally be the next play. Yeah, let's do this. Make things bigger. I can flash in the resolute reinforcements. Yes. Okay. So we don't like mana screw wins, but that's okay. Let's go to the post game analysis. Okay. So this is our bouncy Boros build. As you saw in a few of the games, um, this card coming into play with 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 your 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 fortune, your Girapur, your nurturing pixie, and also too in that in that last game you saw a lot of fun interactions here. So there are a bunch of cool interactions with this particular deck. I mean, you can make a lot with this. I really do think so. And is it competitive? No. Is it fun? Absolutely, is fun, especially if you get the terror down and all the bouncy stuff so if you like what you see with this please like please subscribe and as always in magic miscreants may you always be on the play and may all your spells hit the battlefield risen dragon is out enjoy the rest of your sunday